Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about using the sine node to create an oscillating effect within a material. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a material. And we will just name this um, glowing. Yep. All right. And then we're going to open this material up. Okay, so here is our material. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give it a color. So we're going to create a uh, constant three vector. The default value for this, we will just make it red. Okay. And then we are going to create a sine node. So you just type in sine. Remember sine goes from uh, negative one to one. And you have to feed a variable into here, which is the input. And we use time to do that. So, when you take this value <clears throat> and then you apply, if we multiply these two together, let's see. So if we just put the red inside here, we're going to get a red sphere, right? If we multiply this by the sign. apply this in here you see that now it's oscillating and it is going um, at a certain rate now if you want to slow it down you increase the period of the sign so I'll change this to two and now this will oscillate even slower which is a uh, which is a good thing if you want to go faster you cut it in half so we'll go to 0.5 so now it's oscillating um, very quickly. So we'll just put it back to the, uh, the first part here. And, uh, and away we go. Now we have an oscillating uh, uh, material. So let's put this material onto a static mesh. And I want to show you one more thing that we can do with this. So let's go back to our thing over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an actor. So we're going to do blueprint class. I'm going to create an actor. And I'm just going to call it uh, test. All right. And when I open this up, <clears throat> you're going to see uh, we just have a default scene root. I'm going to change that. I'm going to add a static mesh here. I'm going to make it the uh, uh, root component. And on the mesh, I am going to just add a sphere here. So I'll just type sphere. All right. And uh, let's see. Where is just the basic sphere? There we go. Okay, so here is our sphere, and then you need to apply a material to it. So if I go down here, remember we named our material glowing. <clears throat> go ahead and pick this guy. <clears throat> so now we have a glowing sphere actor. So moving back to our moving back to our uh, level here, if I drag this guy in here, <clears throat> you're going to see that we are glowing, and that's fantastic, right? Um, now here's the other thing: if I grab another sphere and I bring it in here, now you see that we have two of them, but 
they both are grow are glowing and oscillating at the same rate and um so if you were hoping that they were at a different rate uh it's not working out for you <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to add some randomness we are going to add some randomness into this and that will allow our material to um, have a, uh, a random oscillation for each of the individual meshes that we stick out in the world or each actor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our, um, our mesh here or, or our material, excuse me. And what we're gonna do is we're going to add in some randomness into this time. So the way we're gonna do that is our time value, we're going to add a random offset into this value. And then the output of that, we're going to feed in to our sign, okay? Let me show you how we do this. We're gonna add a constant, okay? I'm going to uh, convert this constant into a parameter. And I'm gonna give it a name. We'll just call it RNG for random number generator. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna compile that and save that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our actor. And instead of uh, assigning the material here, so let me just show you, we're gonna go ahead and clear this. What we're gonna do instead is on our construction script, we're gonna create a dynamic material instance. So create. Okay. Create dynamic material instance for our static mesh. Yes. Okay. And for our dynamic instance, so you have to tell it which material. So for this, we're going to create an instance of our, our glowing material. Okay. And uh, element index zero. That says which material instance on the mesh. This mesh only has one uh, material associated with it. So that's fine. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to set scalar parameter. Okay. And what this does is we're setting a parameter on the material that we just created. The parameter we're setting is this RNG right here, okay? So what we do is we give it the name. So we're gonna call it RNG. And now we have to assign what value we're going to uh, add to it, <clears throat> or what value we're gonna pass in. And here you can do random float. Um, now it would have been nice could we do the, if we could have done this inside the material itself but you don't have access to functions like this. So instead we just pass it in with the parameter. So now when this compiles and runs, let's flip back to, it already took effect. Let's look back at our, um, at our level here and you're gonna see something. You notice all of them are flashing at different rates. And because of that, this is all because we are adding that random value to the time period. So because of that, the output is unique for each instance that's out there. So that's the tip of the day. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you like these types of quick educational uh, snippets, then uh, please uh, subscribe. And uh, I hope you have a great day. Bye.